are leaving our campsite on Knife Lake, headed up towards Cherry, as you can see. Uh, the weather is perfect. Placid lake, blue skies, sun is out. Got about a six mile paddle to Cherry Lake and hopefully one of the campsites there is open. Not to figure out what we want to do. But it's about 7.45. Cold this morning. Supposed to be nice like this the rest of the time, except so Friday I think was a 50% chance of rain as of last night, so not supposed to really be any wind problems. It all stays like that. It's not too cold now that the Sun is up though. We went about nine miles our first day. We had planned on traveling yesterday, but it was just so cold and wet. It didn't stop raining until about 11:30. Um, it was cold. Everything was wet. We decided to stay camping. Let things dry off. So. The sun feels good. Back in a little bit later, probably when we get on to Amoeba. Some more views of Knife Lake. We'll be not on it too much longer. And we're going through this one. You can probably see this little opening here on the left where we're headed through. And then a short little paddle change maps and then we'll be heading into Amoeba Lake. Need, uh, Giving the old man a good workout. Cool little rocky island in front of us. It probably looks farther away on video than it does. Really. Canada there on your left. We're actually in Canadian waters at the moment. So. I haven't seen anybody on the Canadian side. It's nice out right now. Sun feels good. This is a neat little area we're coming up in here. Coming up into, it's very scenic. Especially since the sky is blue. Alright, until next time. We're going through it now. Is your turn off? Yeah, yeah. Kind of through a little narrow here.
hoping nobody's on carry weight. But we'll see. We're about uh, three miles in right now, so it's uh, about six till nine. Oh, there's the Canadian border sign right there. You know what? entered Amoeba Lake, then Topaz, then Cherry. It's a smaller little lake. There's a couple campsites on this lake. One of them's a pretty nice one, apparently, so we'll see if there's anybody on it, in case we have to come back from Cherry. We were going to do the loop, but there's a couple really long portages that are probably just not going to be any fun, so we're just going to trace back the way we came. Um, we just miss out a little bit on the south arm of my fleet, so, um, which will be okay. Quiet out today. We saw one person at a campsite. Um, oh, we haven't seen anybody else today. Saw several people paddle by yesterday. Later on in the afternoon, it's a little buggy on this lake. I don't know if you could see uh, bugs in the. Uh, Shot. Not mosquitoes, they're like, oh man. At least I think they are. Can't tell. <sighs> Oof, that's a campsite there on that point. That looks nice. Some views from Amoeba Lake. I'll get some uh, of Topaz. Uh, never uh, come through. Until then. Alright, we're on Topaz Lake now. Another short 20 rod portage. And then we're on a, we have like a 
eight rod portage into Cherry and there's a group of two people in front of us and I'm hoping that they they're not going to one there. There's two sites on Cherry so hopefully if nobody's on Cherry they take one and we can have the other but I guess we'll see. Use a Topaz Lake. There's a couple big islands in this lake. There's a campsite on here, but um, I think it's on one of these islands actually, or on the north side shore. Not sure. Alright, until Cherry. Right, we made it to Cherry Lake. Probably see way up above it. Probably looks a little farther away than it does to me. There's a big, big tall rocky island on this lake. We'll see here in a second if uh, we've got a campsite. Hopefully, people in front of us didn't take one. out. Yep, looks like it. So yeah, that's a good sign or a bad sign. Yep, that means there's somebody on that site or they're just going farther. There's one site. See, it's the other one. The other one we gotta go. Maybe like we're gonna go past this island to the right where those people were going, and go through like a little narrows, and it's on the it's on the other side. Of the what do you think? Mm. Why don't? Uh, You can't, no, it's, it's on the other side of that big hill over there, you can't, you can't see it. Oh. Um, what we probably, yeah, let's go down a little bit. People in front of us were probably at a campsite in front of us, but we didn't see them this morning. So I would doubt that they would stop there. But
Huh? What we can do is, uh, when they come by, what I'm going to do is, I'll ask them if anybody was down on the other site. Just uh, put it right here for now. Just right here. All right, here we are on Cherry Lake. This is from the landing of our uh, campsite. Um, luckily, uh, there were two, there was a party of two boats in front of us this morning um, that we saw whenever we were getting into Amoeba Lake and then they were right behind them into Topaz and um, they were probably about 100 yards in front of us. Well, they passed this site on Cherry Lake thinking that the other site on Cherry Lake was gonna be open and um, we went past this site as well, but then we saw them turn around and come back. So we uh, turned around and came back as well and snagged this site before they got here. And they were definitely coming back for this site. So um, but here's the landing. Not a great landing, a little rocky. Um, there's our boat. Come up into camp. Clothesline over there, we're drying out the tarp and everything from the dew. Clothesline, there's our tent. Tent pad isn't great. There's Pops relaxing. I know he's ready to get back on Friday. I want that steak. There's some wood that I split. Uh, 
And here's some views from our site. As you can see, the black flies here are pretty bad. We didn't, I didn't have any problems with black flies last year. Um, and there's the views from our campsite. That's pretty much it. The uh, latrine for this site is pretty much right there so it's not a very long walk um, back into the woods so uh, you don't have a whole lot of privacy when you need to do your business um, there, there it is right there so um, anyways you could probably fit two tent pads here this is the first campsite when you get off of um, Topaz Lake so this is the first site from there but anyways, these are views from Cherry.